uh, turning to the world of television and a new series has grabbed your attention but for all the wrong reasons tell me why I say this uh, highly promoted Netflix series is not only boring but also a work of propaganda yeah, I, I'm a, a great binge watcher, as we all are these days. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. And I recently binge watched Fowder, uh, the uh, Israeli spy drama, uh, uh, on Netflix. Fowder is an amazing thing because it's 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 a very it's morally complex as well as being pacey and much more and exciting. Uh, 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 and then mm -hmm. I came across this movie that is also on uh, Netflix um, called Fada. And it's a film uh, about the uh, 1940 events in the Middle East in 1948, the creation of the State of Israel. And I was I was stunned by it because it is an ap absolutely propagandistic film in which uh, um, mm. the Palestinians are living in Eden until the terrible Jews arrive, kill children and so on for no reason. And uh, and it's an absolutely cardboard uh, uh, characterization, plotting and much more more. And, and I mentioned in this piece, I think what's going on here is that Netflix has been coming under pressure for producing Israeli made uh, um, the content like Fowder. So they're trying to balance it out with Palestinian content. The only problem being, as I say, that the, 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 the first of them is able to produce pacey and morally complex uh, uh, plots. And the second is, is outright propaganda uh, against the Jews mm. and against the creation of the state of Israel. It's, it's quite amazing. And I, I think platforms like Netflix have got to be very aware. I'm not for censoring anything, but we've got to be very aware of the kind of content they promote in the name of having a sort of viewpoint diversity. Oh, and uh, when Al Jazeera is singing the praises of a series, then uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can read into that what you will. And finally, I've got to ask you, is this King Charles's great revenge after Harry and Meghan have uh, repeatedly humiliated the family with their worldwide privacy tour and uh, victim play? We learned that the King has evicted the couple from their UK home, Frogmore Cottage, and that decision reportedly was backed by future King, Prince William, as well as Kate and Camilla. They were all very happy with this. What do you make of this, Douglas? Well, doubtless the Sussexes will get a new Netflix series and a new book uh, <laughs> because of their being victims, because of being evicted from Frogmore Cottage and having only, oh, a number of other uh, uh, places to live. Uh, uh, Meghan will probably say it's racism. Harry uh, will threaten to broadcast another uh, session with his shrink uh, live. Uh, all, of course, <laughs> as you say, in part of their international privacy tour. Uh, and then there's the final kicker in this, isn't there? Which is, it's said that the uh, house, uh, the grace and favour house that they had, it may be handed over to Prince Andrew. So it's it, it's more desirable <laughs> to have Prince Andrew living there than <laughs> Prince Harry and Meghan. And that really is, that's a heck of a kicker, isn't it, Rita? You've got to admit. <laughs>